Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like yeah, Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Nottingham United Kingdom Monster. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. All right, group of rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by McGregor. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. 
A oh, little single collar tie there. Big Paul Rush lands. Now he gets back in range. Ooh. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful legs. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by McGregor. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. McGregor's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Nice strike. Clip with the right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice right hand, John. Rip. Oh! Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Just over three minutes to go. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. So the numbers continuing to pile up here. 33 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Huge damage from that elbow in the clinch. Some nice back and forth action here. Caught that kick there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. That one's not good. Nice strike. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Left hand punch in the clinch. Can't take many of those. You better check. Big power shot there. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Nice. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's incoming. Huge knee lands to close. Caught the kick. McGregor well, gets touched by that kick there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good punch lands. Under a minute now to go in round one. Oh, single collar tie here. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Like he might have landed there instead a swing and a miss by McGregor. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on the split. Big kicks. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Nice shot to the body there. Big body shot. You can see it starting to take an effect on his opponent. Punch over the top. Big knee lands there. Oh, straight right. He's throwing every round two oh, winding oh, down. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. 
All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? It's such a fast leg kick. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been shot. Cash mouse, you gotta play cash mouse. Hit, don't get hit, he does a great job of that. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. What a punch. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, buckled him there, beautiful shot to the body. Oh, big head kick. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You gotta think his longtime chief corner, John Kavanaugh, likes what he is seeing out of his pupil early tonight. And he landed the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. Oh, nice punch there by McGregor. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, McGregor's strike attempt there is blocked. Thirty seconds to go in the round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just misses with a left hook there. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, pretty good technique as he Real lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. 
And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Great punch landed with so much power. Right hand on point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at the angle of that nice body. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Watch these to the body. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Man. Oh, he might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, tag him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Effective punch there by Connor. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And he caught the kick. All right, single collar tie now. Able to land with the left hand. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, big shot lands. Beautiful leg kick throw. And a knee. Oh! Back to the feet. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. McGregor's knee strike here is blocked. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back and just truly makes up the target. Tight to behold. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Huge knee lands to the clinch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Try to establish that jab. To that kid. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a welt on his opponent. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Conor McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. 
Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Oh, that is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip and just landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that punch. Got the single collar tie. Nice kick. Nice counter right hand lands for him. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. strikes, but also with his body movement, complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, single collar tie here. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. That was a thudding leg kick. sharp here tonight. We talk about him as a master of distance management, but he also uses his long reach to great effect. It's one thing to have a long reach, it's another to use it and to use that jab, and McGregor has really mastered it when it comes to mixed martial arts. All right, he engages in the single power tie. Oh. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Single collar tie now. Just over three minutes now to go. Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked by Connor. history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And Gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.